Welcome to iLecture Online and here's our next example of how to find images when we have an object placed in front of a mirror. In this case we have a, a convex mirror just like the previous example and the only difference is that in the first case with the convex mirror we had the object far away from the mirror. Now we place the object a lot closer with an object distance of 20 centimeters. So where will the image appear? Well, let's draw our rays. The first ray is always going to be parallel to the normal until it hits the mirror. It will reflect back as if it came from the focal point. So the focal point is back here. So the ray will go up in this direction, ray number one. Second ray will be drawn from the object to the focal point, through the focal point to the mirror, but the mirror gets in the way. So if we draw a line from there to there to the focal point, it gets interrupted. Instead of going to the focal point, it gets reflected back and the reflection will then be parallel to the normal, that's ray number two. And so again, the two rays do not converge, but the brain looks at those two rays coming in this direction, it extrapolates back out and says, oh, I know that this ray came from back here somewhere, this ray appears to be coming from back here. Where the two meet, that's where the image will appear. Not that it's really there, but it appears as if it's there, that's what the brain does for us, so there's the image. And now we have to find the image distance, the size of the image and so forth. So right away we start with the equation s prime is equal to sf over s minus f. Again s is the object distance, f is the focal length, s prime is the uh, distance to the image. That will be this distance right here, this will be s prime, what we're looking for. Of course remember that with a convex mirror the uh, focal length is always negative, in this case we have a minus 25 centimeter mirror, so this will be s which is 20 times s, uh, f which is minus 25 divided by 20 minus and minus 25. So this will be a minus, looks like 500, divided by 20 plus 25 or 45. So uh, that looks like about 11 point something. Let's see here. 500 divided by 45 is 11.1 and it's going to be negative, negative 11.1. Of course, that would be in centimeters. All right, so we found the distance to the image that would be 11.1 .1 centimeters <clears throat> behind the mirror. That's what the negative implies. The negative implies that it's behind the mirror, of course. If the image is behind the mirror, that means it's a virtual image, not a real image. So I is virtual. The brain just thinks it's there when it really isn't. Then to find the magnification, we use the equation m is equal to, right there, we have minus s prime over s. That would be minus d minus 11.1 divided by s which was 20 and that looks like we have um, looks like about see 11.1 divided by 20 yeah it's equal to a positive 0 0.555 or 0 0.55 is good enough um, now that means that the image will be a little bit bigger than half the size of the object. So here's the image, there's the object, and also the fact that it's positive means that the image will be upright, and so we can say upright. All right, those are the four answers. We found the location of the image, the S prime, 11.1 centimeters behind the mirror, that's what the negative means. Since it's negative, that means that the image is virtual, not real. We can see that from the diagram that they, the rays do not converge, they appear to be coming from back here somewhere. The magnification shows us that it's slightly more than 50% of the original object in size, and since it's positive magnification, the object is, or the image is upright. And that's how you work with convex mirrors.